Have you wanted to build your own T-65 X-Wing in Space Engineers? Of course you have. The game has been out for 10 years now and many of us have tried building a myriad of Star Wars creations throughout the last decade. Many have succeeded, but with how Space Engineers handles its rotor physics and hinges, sometimes X-Wings aren't exactly the easiest of craft to build. We much rather go for A-Wings or your traditional TIE Fighter, very sort of solid shapes. Apologies if you can hear an astromech droid in the background, we'll get to that part of this mod in a second. Today we've got a T-65 X-Wing and it sort of comes as a block kit in game, meaning you just have to place it together, think like Lego bricks in a way, you basically just have to put components together and you're ready to go. As you can see on screen right now, this is the T-65 X-Wing, it is the famous starfighter from Star Wars' original films and it looks beautiful. This ship has functioning landing gear, laser weaponry of course, torpedoes, hyperdrives, even the cute little astromech droid known as R2-D2 or whatever you want to call your own one. And of course we've got the folding X-Foils to a lock them in attack position as well. Lock X-Foils in attack position. We all love that clip, don't we? Made by Modmaker Anera, this is their brand new mod and it's basically a T-65 X-Wing kit. It is the all-purpose starfighter of the Rebel Alliance. It's known for versatility and exceptional combat performance. Now you can build your own in Space Engineers without needing many many mods or some complex building in the vanilla game. Yes, this is modded, keep that in mind, the link is down below. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Space Engineers. In front of me I've got the T-65 X-Wing and it does look beautiful. Look at this, it looks absolutely fantastic. Look, the cockpit even opens when you walk close to it. If I go away now, it closes. Look at that, it's awesome. And occasionally, you will hear our little astromech droid friend up here beep along. Now, this is a sort of prefab one I'm using right now. Uh, but we're going to create our own sort of version in a minute and I have a play around with it and see what we can change. There is he set up there. Is he, does he always follow me around as he look at me? Oh, he does make the beeps though. He makes the beeps. Look at this interesting stuff going on down here as well. The actual vanilla SC components going on down there. We can play with them in a minute and take a look. Regardless though, this ship is actually looking fantastic. Torpedo blocks are going down here as well. The sort of cowling. Uh, we've also got the front sort of sensor pod. Landing gear again. Uh, the actual like S-wings or like X-wing S foils, I think they call them, yeah. And obviously for traditional laser style. You will recognize this fighter. No matter if you're not a Star Wars fan or not, or you've watched, you know, Star Wars the last 50 plus years, you know what an X Wing is. You've definitely probably, probably wanted to sit behind one before. Well, thankfully, now you can. So the way this mod works is if I open my inventory settings and go to here, you get a bunch of sort of cowling blocks in here and a variety of other blocks, including astromech bays, cargo compartments, uh, landing gears, all of it. Like we can simply pick up a cockpit right now and I can show you what it looks like. If I roll it around here, oh, there we go. SE's not very happy with me today. And I can sort of show you the block. Boom, there we go. See, it sort of functions like that. This one's got no power at the minute, so we can sort of kick it away. But there you go. The blocks are really cool to like play with and sort of put down. You've got a cowling over here as well. So all these blocks are basically components or bigger components you can add together to build a Starfighter, which I think is pretty cool. So you've got front sensor pod there, more cowling. Uh, what else have we got? This is the front landing gear. The it auto deploys. Very cool. We've got torpedo bays as well. More torpedo bays. Cargo pod. That's how the cargo pod works. I think I can show you on this side as well. There we go. It is open down here. It will open as we go close to it. You can tab in there and say we can just put all our tools in there. Boom, there you go. And we walk away. And it closes back up. Lovely. Now, if we go on the side of this one, I can show you a bit more sort of detailing what's going on here. I do actually now need those tools I just put away. If we go to this. So down here, we're actually using light armor blocks and also armored conveyors. Again, this block, while it does use components like these ones to add it together, so you've got the nose cone here and the front cowling, it will, it will use sort of like some vanilla blocks to add some blocks together. So you see here, we're using a proton torpedo launcher, but to merge into the rest of the sensor block, we're actually using a half slope light armor block. This prefab model is made by Nero as well. You can download it from the workshop if you don't fancy building your own one, but I do encourage you to play around with these blocks and sort of customize it to your heart's content because that way you can sort of have your own X-Wing. Don't worry, one thing you can do is you can color these as well. So if I just put my block here as so it's touching. Now, what if we go for a yellow? Actually, I'm more fan of a blue. There we go. And if I can paint it, I can now paint it blue. Ta-da. Now, what's even more cool is you can sort of like color your astromech droid as well. So, boom, I want a red one. There we go. We can call them R4 like Obi-Wan's. Let's hop in and take a look and I can show you some of the features. Now, mine's sort of turned off at the minute. If I turn it back on, uh, and I think the landing gear, yeah, I think the landing gear glitched there as I logged in and out of the world.
I think my landing is glitched. Not quite sure what's wrong with that. Okay, the landing is meant to deploy. It might be glitched because I'm on like a station grid in orbit. It doesn't quite make sense of that. Uh, or like, you know, it's kind of like a grand grid. I might have glitched for stuff in there a minute ago. Uh, but if we sort of power on. Okay, there we go. Right, I sort of was stuck to the ground there for a second. I think I glitched the landing gear a little bit weirdly. Um, I know that happens from retracting landing gear. So we're now in control of the X-Wing. I can sort of wave it around. There we go. Happy days. Uh, you can just press right away and fire the guns. Wouldn't recommend that because we want to actually fire the lasers. We've got to deploy them into the attack position. So we all move that line and deploy, you know, set x to attack position, whatever it is. There we go. Now, obviously, like I was saying, you can fire the lasers like this in this mode. You're not, re you're not really meant to do that, but it is sort of there, so you can do it. Um, but obviously, that makes more sense. It's just with the laser positioning and obviously how the mod actually works. Uh, so what do we got here? On our number one, we've got the laser can FCU. This is like a shoot mode. You can change the mode if you want. We've got the sensor dome. Now, this also works as a front base camera as well. We've got torpedo launchers. There we go, they launch proton torpedoes. They can do a lot of damage, that's something to keep in mind. We'll be testing this on a ship in just a second, don't worry, we will test the damage. Uh, we've got landing gear as well. But obviously, they don't really want to work at the minute. Antennas, we can turn those on and off if we really want to. Hyperdrive, self-explanatory, we'll test that in a memento, I know many of you are keen to see it. Uh, we've also got engines on off over here, now we can't move at all. We can turn this back on. So, I think that's a reactor actually, isn't it? Sorry, that might be a reactor. Those are batteries, yeah. I've we got that for some reason. I think the engine... Do we have control of the engines? Yeah, we do. Okay, we're on this one. Asterisk thing. I don't know if the asterisk actually does. I thought it was a remote control block, maybe. I think that's maybe what it does. So I think the asterisk bay, like, can conducts, like, repairs and things like that. You can turn cargo on off. You can turn uh, our little, like, projector on off. Happy days. And also, we've got the front section here again. Uh, this can actually control our like, engines. You can sort of, like, override those if you want to. I know some of you like doing fighters in SE where you can manually override the engines. Here, you've got the ability to do so if you so please. Right, let's spawn the ship and we'll test out the weapons on this. But I just spawned in a ship over here. I spawned in uh, Perfect Belinky's Gazanti class cruiser because, you know, sending an X-Wing against this would make sense. Also, this is a cockpit view, by the way. Very cool. Right, it's good. Should we test torpedoes straight away? I want sensors. Well, torpedoes are away. Okay, they did some damage. The ship's not going to shoot back at us in a minute. Keep that in mind. Oh. They, they have, like, a good damage sound, don't they? The same for the engine. Ooh, right, definitely it. Right, if we come off this now, I can hold down four. Oh, I've locked the vessels again. Now, the actual sounds and sort of like visuals of this mod are super, super cool. Now, our side to side movement is very much because if this is a fighter, you're meant to sort of like go on strafing runs and things like this. So once we actually get some speed like this, we can sort of come around and, you know, begin our attack pattern. Now, all the mods you are going to need to control this are on the Steam Workshop page. No, don't worry about that. Oops, I may have overshot that there. I definitely overshot the torpedoes again. They are not... What is going on with those? Maybe they're just... Huh? Okay, maybe they're guiding ones now? Huh. That's maybe our guidance. That's interesting. Hmm, okay, maybe our guidance. That's really interesting, actually. Okay, so we can see our latest barrage here. We can do quite a bit of damage here, but not enough, like, to take down a ship. Taking another fight is most likely to be very useful. However, if you think when it comes towards, like, bigger ships like this, you are really going to want to focus on the hard point. So if we were attacking this Kazanzi class, we would target the engines like this. Happy days. We can fire that in there. Apparently, our torpedoes just want to focus on things. Actually, I wonder. Torpedo... Torpedo launches. Do we have a thing? Is there any subsystem control mode? Okay, so I thought it would be targeting like a subsystem. Maybe that's why it was like overriding. There we go. We're sort of targeting those engines there. We can always take out the antenna component as well. Yeah, but torpedoes really want to just target the central axis of the ship. Oops, I got up the ship. Still pretty cool though. If we lock S again, we can sort of glide off and reach a bit of better speed as we go back towards our landing area. So this has been the Prefab X-Wing by Nera. Again, you can take a look at all these in-depth blocks and actually make use of them. I would recommend doing so. And we should be able to come to a good stop here. 
There you go. We can slow down pretty well. And what happens if we sort of like come for a landing here? Can we deploy our gear? It's five, wasn't it? Five to six, sorry. Our landing gear still don't want to deploy for some reason. Bit of a shame. I'm not quite sure why that's the case, but uh, they do usually automatically deploy. I mean, you saw the one in front of me there. That's how that locks. Ours just don't want to work for some reason. But there we go. Overall, this mod is actually really, really cool. You should download it and check it out. All the details you need are via the Steam Workshop page. If you're struggling to put one together, take a look at how this one's put together, download the prefab model, and sort of build it off from there. You can easily change blocks like this for your own versions, maybe make a bit of a kit bash X-Wing, uh, your own sort of model or variation of it. That'd be really cool. You could probably try and make the T-70 as well, using some blocks in SE potentially an option let me know how far you get and if you do make any custom variations feel free to share them with me via twitter or my steam or my discord server and we will see you very soon all right everyone i've been captain jack thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye